Hi everyone, welcome back to Zyko World. We're back today bringing you a new recipe. We hope you had a good week and we hope that you've been trying out our recipes um, by our cook chef, Chef Samina. Let's go over to Chef Samina and find out what delight she has us for, for us today. Hello Sarah, hello viewers, hope you are nice and well and uh, I hope you are trying my recipes. Um, hello Sarah. Hi, how yeah. are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Week? Yeah, we, I had a So what week. are we cooking today? Uh, I'm making malai boti today. It's mm -hmm. a chicken tikka. Okay. Okay, and, and now you'll ask me what uh, yeah, malai what, is and what, one what is, what, Okay, I'm not going to ask what malai is. <laughs> malai is cream. That's okay? right. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to ask what malai is, but it sounds very, very nice. But um, So what do we need to make malai tikka? Um, it's, a, it's like a chicken tikka, but it's more tender and mm, uh, more where, creamy. Where does this originate from? Which country is this uh, from? Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia, okay. Yeah. Alright, so let's see what you're, what you're using today. Okay. Uh, let's go to ingredients first and Ooh. then I'll show you how to yeah, make it, great. okay? So, I have boneless chicken, it's about one kilo of uh, boneless chicken and I cut them in big chunks, okay? I have uh, black pepper, about a tablespoon of uh, black pepper. I have white pepper, it's a tablespoon of white pepper as well. I have about three to four tablespoons of cashew nut paste, which I, uh, I boil the cashews and uh, then I grind them to paste. And I have about five to six tablespoons of uh, yogurt, it's a uh, hung yogurt, you know, and two tablespoons of uh, soft cheese, you know. I've got some herbs, I've got coriander leaves, um, and I've got some mint to garnish. Yeah. I've got some green chilies, mm -hmm. I've got some about two inches of um, ginger, and about three to four um, cloves of uh, um, garlic which I'm going to use uh, in marinade and I'm going to make a sauce uh, with it as well so I'm going to use it there as well. I've got some tenderizer, about a tablespoon of tenderizer. I've got some coal mm -hmm. to give it a smoke mm -hmm. and I have some cream, about one and a half cup of cream. I've got some clarified ghee. Mm -hmm. I've got some cumin seed, some salt, some um, some coriander seed, sorry, roasted coriander and some garam masala. Okay. So, I've got some skewer here as well, mm -hmm. where I'm going to put my um, chicken tikka or malai boti, okay? Okay. So, let's start our dish. So, I need some green chili chopped, mm -hmm. very finely chopped, yeah. because I'm going to marinate my chicken tikka. Would you like me to do that, yeah? Yes, please. And I'm going to marinate my chicken tikka in green, Korean, um, green chilies, because mm -hmm. I don't want to give them a color. Okay. Because it's malai tikka, I don't want to give it a color. Okay. If, if you like uh, red chili, you can use it, but I'm not going to use it. Okay. Okay. That's so, I'm just taking Yeah. Let me peel the garlic you for you. You want it very, very small. Very, very small. It's a bit big for me, Zara. So, with malai tikka, where did it have you made it have you made this dish before yeah i did so many times and uh, it's a um, favorite mm, okay and my it's friends it's, and it's basically chicken tikka but creamier right chicken tikka is a creamer but when you put cream in it mm -hmm. it will be a more creamier and uh, it's the whole concept of uh, malai boti okay. you put cream in it okay. to make it tender nice and soft Do you, would you like all of these chilies by the way I need about a tablespoon. Okay. Can you just remind me not to put my like hands in my eyes or something straight after this? Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know better. I will end up putting them in my eyes. <laughs> She's a clever girl. She won't do it. Mm, you say that. Mm. Let's see. She's learning. Yeah. Look, I can I can cut like a pro. <laughs> Good. I want to see your skill. I need a little bit more. Okay. It's less. Chili according to your taste. If you like more chili, you can add more chili. Smina likes chili. Some people add um, red chili in it, but I don't like red chili. But it's red my chili personal doesn't touch. generally have any um, any spice, does it? Or does it does it have spice? Red chili, does it have spice? Yeah. Is it spicy? It, yeah, it is a spicy. Okay. Just Which uh, fresh red chili you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, it is, but it's mild. Yes, yeah, so, so green chili is much more, um, um, much more than that, much more yeah, spicy than that. Mu much more spicy than that. We have variety of chilies, so. Yeah, yeah. Look. 
I'm using it like a pro. Yeah, good. This is this okay? Do you yeah, want more? absolutely fine. Yeah. I don't want more. So we don't need this one, yeah? No. Like yeah. And you know how to scrape the ginger? Let me show it to you. This is the way. Yeah, okay. I know that, but that's a really big knife to be doing that with. <laughs> no, but scared. Let me do it then. Doing this way, ginger, you know, scrapping the ginger like this. Yeah. You have all the taste near yeah, the, the skin. Yeah, the flavor doesn't yeah. go, does it? Yeah. Because I normally use a potato peeler, but I find that the flavor goes. Some people do it with a spoon as well. I've seen people do it with yeah, a teaspoon. Yeah, they do. They're very expert people. Yeah. Are we going to use all of that ginger? Yes, we're going to use some in sauce and we're going to use some in marinations. What's the, what's the tenderizer? Sorry, I didn't ask you. Like for people like that don't really cook much, what's the tenderizer? Tenderizer is it's just to make meat soft. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add about a tablespoon, actually less than a tablespoon, about a teaspoon of ginger, grated ginger. I'm saving this for so this my is the sauce. Marinade you're making now, yeah? That's right. Okay. About two cloves of garlic. You should marinate it overnight, but you know, we don't have time here. So that's the reason I'm using a uh, meat tenderizer because okay. we're making it instant. Oh, so if you don't have time to marinate it, you use a meat tenderizer and yeah. it, will, it will soak up everything quicker. That's right. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, about, this is how spicy you, how, how hot white you need. Pepper, right? Yeah, it's a teaspoon and teaspoon of black pepper as well. And that's coarse black pepper, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Okay. Perfect. I'm using everything in sauce as well, so you don't yeah. need to remove it, okay? okay. Uh, I've got some, yeah. I've got some yogurt, about two tablespoons of yogurt. Yeah. Would you like me to cut the ginger as well? Uh, not yet, no, not yet. Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of cream cheese. I'm using a little bit of cream here to marinate my thickas. Can you clean? So this is very new that I'm seeing like um, like cream go into a chicken, Asian chicken dish. That's right. I mean, Italian dishes, they use it a lot. Mm -hmm. so Can you pass me some ghee, please? And I need one spoon as well, please. There you go. Okay, let me clean it. Sorry, I'll get some. There you go. Thank you, Sarah. Mm. So I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of ghee. Okay. It's a clarified butter. Okay. Mm -hmm. To marinate my thickas. Mm -hmm. I need a tablespoon of green chili here. Okay. Sarah, can you pass me spices please? Of course. Would you like me to get rid of these for you as well? Or uh, do you need these? No, not yet. But uh, you need them after, yeah? yeah. Okay, I'm using about a half teaspoon of salt because you know cream cheese has salt as well. Yeah, and the yogurt as well has the salt. Yeah, and yogurt. tenderizer have um, salt as well. Okay. So about half, about a teaspoon of tenderizer, okay. mm -hmm. and that's it, I think. That's no, I didn't use it. Oh, sorry, I'm too eager. <laughs> okay, about a teaspoon of zira. Yeah. About a teaspoon a spoon of coriander powder mm -hmm. and about a teaspoon of um, garam masala. Okay. okay, so all done for me Perfect. for marination. I'm gonna mix it with my hands. I like to use my hands. You can move this. So our tikkas are well marinated now. Massage them. Massage them. Massage them. <laughs> it's a new word. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not a new word. Is that is that the, is that the word that you is, is so said all massage the, the chicken? Yeah, all the marinade is evenly on the chicken. Look, if you see. It's 
smelling good. Mm, thank you. So, all my chicken tikka marination is ready. Okay, and chicken tikka for people who don't buy chicken as well. To get the chicken boneless chicken, um, what size pieces would you ask for? Would you ask for very small pieces or just? It's your preference, but preference. I like big. Okay. Because if you are using on, you can make this good question, uh, Sarah, because you can make it on uh, barbecue as well. If you need yeah. to make, um, uh, if you need to make it uh, in barbecue, you need big. Bigger Otherwise, you this? can make it small. Bigger than this? For no, 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 no. This, this, is, this is the perfect. Yeah. This is the perfect tikka. I'm gonna screw it. Okay. So we're putting two per skewer, yeah? No, you can put more. Well, it depends on your, it depends yeah. on your chicken sizes. Yeah. You can make it in grill as well. Okay. Are we going to make it in a grill today? No, I'm going to make it in frying pan today. Okay. Much easier. Make life easier. Yeah, I know a lot of people who do roast like that as well. Mm. They make it in the... Um, in the, the big pot first mm -hmm. and then they can put it under the, in the oven for That's a little right. crispiness. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so we've got the chicken and the skewers now. Yeah, that's so right. We're gonna, I'm going to pop them in the grill now, yeah? Uh, yeah. But, uh, you're gonna... but first, I have ah. to make it in frying pan first. Okay. And what are you going to do? Just like basically fry the top, shallow fry kind of like the top. That's thing. right. Sarah, can you pass me um, a butter, please? Um, a ghee, clarified Sorry. butter, yes, please. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of ghee. Yeah. Give it a traditional taste yeah. and touch. Okay. I'm gonna add my tikkas into the frying pan. Yeah. Let them cook. Yeah, that's fine. And while it's cooking, I'm gonna make a ah the smoky bit i want to see what right. this is about yeah okay very interesting because we know making it on barbecue and yeah. i just want to give it a smoke while our tikka is cooking mm. our smoke will be ready as well so what are we going to do with the smoke how are you going to do this I'll show you after. Okay. It's a technique. It's very simple. And viewers, I soak them in water for three, four hours, my skewers. What? So they doesn't get burned. I don't know if it was enough time for it or not. But what, what, What's that got to do with the skewers? To put them in water? Soak them very well because it's wooden. Okay. So it won't burn. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I get that. Okay. okay. Oh, interesting. interesting. Something new I learned today, then again. This is, I'm really interested in the coal thing. Yeah, I love it. I love giving smoke to my uh, meat. So viewers, I'm gonna serve these um, tikkas with uh, uh, non bread. You can serve them with the boiled rice as well. Your taste. By the way, could you do this in a little pot as well? Like, um, if you have a little pot, like a yeah. dry pot or something, you can that's put it right. in there, put the foil in that's there right. and then yeah. put the coals in the pot. Okay. That's right. Just yeah, for some people do who don't want to like do this kind of thing on the cooker. Yeah. yeah. You can put it on top. But I suppose this gives it more authentic feel. Mm. Look the flame. Yeah, Love I the flame. See, yeah. <laughs> so keep turning them. I don't want to give colour to my tikas, so keep turning until they are cooked. Just until the top layer is basically cooked, isn't it? That's yeah. right, yeah. So by doing this technique, um, using frying pan first and then put it in grill, it will give it a, a very soft texture. It will cook and it will be a very soft tikka. It's meant to be soft because it's malai tikka. Yeah, yeah. So it's meant to be a white because it's malai tikka. So it's not meant to be like the brown reddish tint. No, I don't like it. Habit. Very brown. Okay. So you have to keep an eye on the oven as well. Okay. Just keep reminding me and I'll, I'll do it. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, so what do you serve Malai Tikka with? What do we serve it with? As I told you earlier, 
We can serve it with naan bread mm -hmm. and we can serve are it we, with boiled rice. Are we making naan bread today? Uh, no, we have already, we have ready made. If you want, I can make you as well. Okay. That's okay. We can, we can do it a little bit easier today. Okay. Yeah. Naan bread will uh, teach uh, naan bread as well. Okay, so this is Monday. basically like barbecuing, isn't it? This is like a barbecue, but like that's right. indoor barbecue. Indoor barbecue, that's right. Nice word. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. It looks very interesting. That's right. I want to almost, I want it to cook in the frying pan almost. Yeah. I just want little color. Okay. And make it little crispier. And you're going to make a, a sauce to go with it afterwards, isn't it? Like a creamy sauce. That's to go right. With it. The whole point is I, I just want to, don't want to serve it um, very dry. Mm -hmm. You know, even though it's malai tikka and some people say it's malai tikka, but when you actually eat it, it's very dry. Okay. So just to. Well, obviously, with anything, if you're having it with naan bread, you need some kind of texture or some kind of sauce, some That's creaminess right. to it. You can't just have like no, because boneless meat is generally quite with dry. Meat, you always well, need sauce. Yeah, it's, it's quite dry. Boneless meat is quite dry, so mm. it's it can be quite drying. That's right. Okay, Sarah, can you pass me a almond tray, please? Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna remove this from the frying pan. Yeah. And I'm gonna put them in oven. Yeah. They're about to cook just a little bit. Do you want me to pop it right now, or do you want to wait until those ones go on as well? Please wait for the, okay. uh, this one well, as well. Wait yeah. Those ones that's right. So is that cooked chicken? So I could just eat that right now. It's almost cooked. Oh. I guess we have to wait. That's right. I feel like I, I feel like you're doing everything today. I've not got any work to do today. I feel quite relaxed today. Yeah, it's a very small recipe, Sarah. It's, you I don't know, need I to do much. It, it's nice for me because I just yeah. get to relax and actually learn how to cook. She's gonna wash all the dishes after. So a lot of work for you, I'm Sarah. I need to eat, then I'll wash dishes. No, you have to do dishes first. Okay. Okay, Sarah, can you bring me a almond dish, please? We're done now. Yeah. yeah. So. Yummy. Here. Very nice. Can I just pop that on the... Make sure don't give it too much color. Okay, I'm gonna move this from the fire and... I'm gonna make a creamy sauce with it. So, I need some ginger. about a teaspoon of ginger by the way what do you want me to like are they going to be like lightly brown on top yeah yeah lightly brown please okay because i'm gonna cook them um in the frying pan again Why? for some time because they know uh, cooked yet i just want to give it a li little texture that's the reason we put in grill, but okay. I'm gonna cook it uh, in the frying pan again. So these are steps. I should have made some mint tea. We had some mint. Mint tea is very nice. I'll make some mint tea afterwards if you have some mint left. That's right. Okay. Sarah, can you pass me a ghee, please? Ghee, there you go. That's right. Okay. I'm gonna add about. Have you done, are you done with the cloves? That's, yeah, finished. Yeah. About a tablespoon and a half of ghee. Yeah. You pre-made this well. ghee like last time, didn't you? So you basically, um, how you always do on the show, you took the bottom bit out of the ghee, the butter, isn't it? So you use butter, you boil it, now you heat it up, yeah. and then you take off the top layer, and this is the top layer, the bottom layer we don't use. We skim the uh, skip the we skim the first layer, yeah. you know, the top layer. We skim it, and uh, this is the middle part. This is the middle layer. This sorry, is the middle, this is the middle part. Middle yeah. Layer, yeah. Okay. Can I take this, please? Can you pass me some cumin seed, please, Sarah? I can pass you the whole thing. That's right. Thank you so much. So about a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fry this until it's fragrant and 
Yeah, little color. I can smell it all coming through. I'm just gonna check on the chicken. Sara is so scared. <laughs> She's gonna. <laughs> yeah, because I'm gonna get yeah. told off really badly. And I'm hungry. I don't want to mess it up. Mm -hmm. So my ginger and garlic is golden brown. And if you, Sara, if you can smell it. I can. It, the cumin as well. I can smell it. It's coming through. It's roasting nicely. That's right. Okay. So I'm gonna add my spices in. Go for it. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of black pepper, mm -hmm. white pepper, mm -hmm. half a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add my yeah. I'm gonna add my cream in it, please. There you go. All the cream is going in. I'm just going to get and check on the chicken because I am a bit worried. It's coming along quite nicely. Is the cream done? I'm going to add some spices. Salt according to your taste. I'm going to use half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add some garam masala in it. Okay. About a teaspoon. Okay, do you make your own garam masala by the way? Because I can see some like, bits in it, but you, do you make your own garam masala? That's right. Okay, so you get all the spices together and mix it yourself. Yeah. I find I roasted more, them. Yeah. I dry roasted them and then ground them. Because I find it's more uh, flavoursome than, I don't know what it is, maybe the shop bought one, maybe they have preservatives or something, but I find that homemade one, it just smells and tastes better. It smells, of mm. course, Sarah, it smells better. Okay, I'm going to use uh, the cashew nut paste which I made earlier. Yeah. So basically, this is just grinded cashew with anything in it? That's right. No, what no, just you, water. Just water. Water and cashew nut. I just boiled it in water okay. for uh, about three minutes mm -hmm. and then I just grind it to paste. Okay. And let me check the chickens. Shouldn't be burned. I think it's okay. Shall I turn them around, maybe? You bring it, please. I think it's cooked. Okay. So we just kept it in oven for um, about five minutes. Where shall I bring it? Bring it here, please, Sarah. I'm done with this. I just need these herbs to garnish, and that's it. Okay. Right, yeah. While my sauce is cooking, I'm gonna remove this from oven dish. If you can see, it's nicely browned and well so coated. Now I'm just gonna add it. I'm just gonna put it back in the frying pan mm -hmm. to cook it a little bit more mm -hmm. with the sauce. And you're just going to pour the sauce over it then, yeah? That's right. Ah, okay. Interesting. You don't need this one, yeah? No, I don't need this one. You still need your... I'll wait for you to do that and then I'll do that. I'm pouring some sauce on my tikkas. So all the moist which is dried out, yeah. it's going in again. So that's the, the whole point of doing it. That's right. There, so we're just going to give that Yeah, moisture it's going back okay. in the tikkas. Okay. So. My sauce is done. Yeah. I can see you're not thickening the sauce. It's really, really light, isn't it? Yeah, it will be thick. Yeah. It will be thick. Oh, it will thicken up, yeah? Yeah. Okay. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna remove my sauce mm -hmm. and I'm gonna cover it to cook. Okay. So because uh, we uh, serving this with non bread, yeah. I want to, to warm my non bread while okay. it's cooking. Okay. Save time. I think it's this one. That's so can you bring the griddle pan for me, Sarah? Thank you. Mm, you need just a knife? Yes. 
Let it warm a little bit and then we warm the naans, okay? So this is the production. Meanwhile, can this you is shop bought naans, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Okay. I was going to make um, the fresh one, but we bought some and no, it's okay. we had some in the fridge. We can do some things just, easy, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> just to save time. Yeah. Okay, can you pass me some ghee, please, Sarah? I'm going to add a little bit of ghee okay. into my chicken thick That smell, it smells coming through nicely. I like Thank that. Thank you. I'm getting a bit hungry now as well. Should we put this on there now? So it's on high I flame I just can't now. wait for this bit. I really want to know what this bit is going to do. That's, that's what I'm waiting for in the whole recipe, in the whole dish. I'm waiting for that bit. It's the magic. I know, I want to see the magic. So we'll do magic trick after. Let my chicken tikka cook properly. Okay. Okay, I put the naan on there now, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so do you make this dish for your children? Yeah, Sarah, they love it. They love it, yeah? Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a family yeah, favourite. It's a yeah? family favourite, that's right. It looks it, because it, what's not, like, not to like? Yeah. Chicken, it's and creamy. They're looking forward to, to bring it at home. That's, that's going home today? <laughs> I think so. No, it's not. <laughs> I think I've I got dibs on today. that. <laughs> I've got a line waiting right now to eat that. <laughs> I that think it smells really nice. Yeah, I think my chicken tikka is cooked. Am I going to taste it? Um, well, <laughs> okay. I can taste uh, it. I don't mind being a taster. Okay, let me, uh, let me do the interesting bit first. What's, oh, the, the, the bit yeah, you like, go okay? Go for it. And then I'll give, I, I'll give her to taste a little bit. Okay. 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 So Let's I'm going to remove this. Yeah. Look. What I'm going to do is, oops, I need some clarified ghee, please. Okay, there you go. I'm going to add a little bit of ghee on top of my coals oh, and wow. cover it. So that's the magic bit Sarah was looking forward. Ah, so basically that will give it that barbecue flavor. That's right. That's very interesting. A very good way to have like a homemade barbecue where That's you don't right. want to actually barbecue. Yeah. So you can generally do that with all meat, can't you? So you can get chops and stuff and put them in a pan and put the coal in there and... No? Yeah, you can... You do like steaks yeah, and Yeah, you can do all type of meat. All type of meat and all type of curries as well. Ah, so you can smoke your curries as well. Yeah, you can smoke very your curries. Very nice. If you like smoky text, um yeah, some some people don't you're like it. Like tikka, mm? or you're having um, chops or things like that. You want it to have a smoky uh, flavor. It That's just right. doesn't taste right it's without the smokiness. Just lift up the flavors. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. If you like sp uh, smoky flavor, if you don't like, then just skip this bit. That's fine. Shall I cut this naan up for you? Oh, I love this smell. Shall I cut this naan up for you? Um, you have scissors, Sarah. I, I like using them. Okay. Thank you. I think for the neat look, we need scissors. I won't let her do in her way. I really, really, really like your platter. Thank you. Very nice, very pretty. It's very um, desi. Like I would expect this to find this like in a restaurant named like Agra or like mm -hmm. Taj Mahal. <laughs> <laughs> it's proper like that, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? And it's not <laughs> mine. Oh, whose is it? Some. It's borrowed. <laughs> yeah, it's borrowed. Some neighbor brought something and I just. Spoke. There you go. Well, your neighbor has very good taste. <laughs> I like it. Oh, thank you. Okay, all my naan is done. It's warmed up. I'm going to cut it and arrange it in the dish. Yeah. As I told you earlier, it's your entirely your choice if you like with naan or if you like it with. You can move this now. There you go. I make it look pretty like you do. I'll try. You know, I started doing this kind of decorating she's, when I'm cooking at home. Yeah. She's learning. Slowly, but yeah. surely. But it's good, right? That's what we're here for. That's why we watch a cooking show. That's, That's why right. we That's right. do this to learn, yeah. you know? Don't waste any food and bread shouldn't be wasted. So if there's a broken thing, you can just join it together. Yeah. Okay. Sarah, you can move this. Okay, um, viewers. My chicken tikka is ready and it's ready to serve. So I'm gonna turn the heat off and let's see. Wow. That smells yummy. I'm gonna remove this. That smells delicious. Okay, just leave it here. 
Sarah, as you can see, it's because not colored yeah. and it's nicely it's cooked it's and it's creamy it's as well. It's slightly golden, but That's it's right, not yeah. brown, brown. It looks good. Okay. I like it. Thank Would you. you like a serving dish now? That's right. Okay, so it's entirely up to you. If you like on skewers or you want to remove it, I'm going to remove this. Wow. I thought I was going to get a taster. I'll give you I think you skipped that part very conveniently. <laughs> I'll give her a taste. But let me finish. Even my fork's gone missing. Uh, Sarah, let me finish this first and then. <laughs> I had a fork here to keep it and it just went missing. Viewers, if you see, my tikkas are very, very tender. And I'm going to serve it in my way. You can serve it on skewers, no problem at all. I really think I've been hard done by it. I should have got a taster. I mean, how are you gonna know how much salt and pepper and you know chili powder is right in it? So I think I still should still get a bit. Let her talk. <laughs> she won't get any. <laughs> I will. I'll make sure. Okay. So all my tikkas. They're done. And yummy, yummy. I just don't want to waste these tikkas. Mm -hmm. So I'll put them here. Okay. Wow. This is for Sarah. Yay! I, I don't have any place. You, can you don't have a plate to give it to me? Oh, you did that by purpose. You purposely offered me something that you knew I didn't have a plate for. <laughs> so that you know I can't eat it. <laughs> so all done? I think so. I think it looks amazing. And I think it smells absolutely amazing. I'm gonna garnish it with I just, you know, the remaining one. I just want to just put pour a little bit, a little on bit, yeah, on top. Wow, that smells really, really nice. <laughs> Very nice. I hope you will try my recipe at home and give me feedback. I've got bunny coming out of my mouth. Like I've got literally my mouth is watering right now because I can smell it. It's so amazing. I'm gonna add some herbs. So this is mint, mint and coriander, yeah? That's right. Okay. Mint is a very nice um, herb to use for garnishing, isn't it? That's right. Use it for lots of things. Oh, that looks so pretty. And I guess if someone wanted to serve it just as a small dish, they could just do that on its own as well. Yeah, that's right. It's so pretty. Looks. If you give me some garam masala, please, sir. Of course. I'll just give you the whole thing. That's right, okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of garam masala. Again, that's and for garnishing. If, if you have chaat masala. Ah, uh, so yeah, you can. Yeah, buy, I guess you can put a little bit on top. Chaat masala as well. So. Well, guys, I'm going to go away and enjoy this lovely yummy. Rumptious food. Um, we have to look at this salad as well. This salad, Samina, I have to say, is absolutely amazingly creative. Like, I have no words. Seriously, it's wow. Like, I mean, do you do this every day? Like, do you do this like for the family and everything? Yeah, I love decorating yes, salads. My family must be absolutely amazed by this. I mean, guys, seriously, look at that. So, we've got your chicken malai. Tikka. Boti, chicken, chicken malai tikka or chicken malai boti, you Ch can say. Okay, chicken malai boti mm. with a beautiful mint garnish, and we put a little bit of garam masala on top as well, yeah? That's right. And then you're serving it with non bread. Non bread, you can um, serve it with rice as well. It looks really, really amazing. Thank um, you. I can't wait to try it, guys. Do send in your recipes as well, please. We are getting a lot of recipes in, and we will be 
putting them on as well. We will ask Samina and we will see you soon. Have a good week and we'll see you soon. Take care. Take care. Bye bye.